locked up. Here we go. And action. Life is so much better working on stuff that you're interested in and with people you really like. You always look to the leader, and that really is who George is. You got a really good actors, you got a really good script. The sets are beautiful, the hair and makeup, everybody's done their job. We try not to impose too much on films like this. Grandpa needs a pack of old golds. Never keep somebody away from the cigarettes. One of the things that establishing the period through hair, makeup, clothing, design, was really adhere to like what was real rather than like the stereotypes or what you remember. We only know that period of time from television and films. The Long Island of the past is not the Long Island that you see today. So we had to look for places that would closest thing to resembling that. It's America. Pick something. The book gives you a really big insight into the characters' lives before the story and the film. And Grandpa, to me, was the key to the house. It really looks like a worn-out old house that nobody has done anything to improve, but he doesn't care. Don't tell anybody I'm a good grandfather. Everybody will want one. <laughs> There's such richness in its lack of grandness. I wanted to create an environment that was very evocative of the characters and yet not feel theatrical. They are opening! I can't open it! I can't Just open, open it! it. Not I am gonna die! Oh. The movie's so fun because it has these really specific sets, and George creates a very fun space to make a film in. Hey, I got an announcement. Today, my nephew is officially a man. Hey! The Dickens as a bar is both a physical place where people come and socialize. It also represents a place where this young guy can find love, acceptance, and instruction to learn how to be a good man. We built a bar set, and it's based on the original bar. Everybody wanted to go there. That led me believe that I had to create a very special place. You know, it's got such a specific, unique, Tone and I don't know if you've ever had one of those bars that felt like it was your place. You know, I think this is definitely that kind of place. Different periods have different clothing, different hairstyles. The collaboration between the designer and the costume designer is key to pulling off a successful period movie. You're going to get some bell bombs, but you're not going to get disco era. How do I look? You look fantastic. I walked into my first fitting, and it was just one thing after another. It was so perfect. Jenny was such a great collaborator. The bar was where you felt like they were just extensions of that bar. So what did that feel like in terms of giving each of these characters something, and it set them apart from each other? I like how they look. When I wear them, they feel weird. They're not normal like the clothes I wear today. For me, you can't ever feel like you can fully embody these characters until you're wearing the real clothes and everything becomes real. Working with George for a fourth time and just knowing it's a wonderful place to be because it's kind, it's supportive, but he really, really trusts the people that he works with and gives you so much space to be creative. <laughs> George is a very nice person and he pranks me so much. I have a good relationship with him. George was the principal attraction for me. I don't think people quite recognize how facile a technical filmmaker he is, how planned, organized, set up it is. He knows what he wants to do. He knows how to communicate it. He gives everyone tremendous freedom, and he's such a collaborator. I couldn't trust anyone more than George to guide that ship and uh, to make sure that everything plays out seamlessly. It's a real uh, testament to you know, the hard work that Grant did as a producer to make sure the talent of the actors felt like a family. It's a simple story, right? It's just, sometimes it's just about execution. The minute you make the world comfortable, so much of the work is taken away from directing and everything else. Good work, guys. That's right. 